Hey guys, alright, <clears throat> welcome, welcome to uh, what I'm going to show you in this video is uh, uh, my classes, my classes, maybe some tips and stuff like that, I've been playing this game rather, rather, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, uh, I've been playing this game a lot in the past day, not even a day, and um, yeah, I haven't really played uh, any of the maps, all I've been playing is, I mean, uh, any of the uh, game modes all i've been playing is free for all and cranked i know about the other ones and i hope you guys do too i don't think i'm going to explain that but um this is my soldier i just kept the first soldier you get because i think it's kind of pointless to get another one unless you have like extra squad points it's just not really necessary but um to start off i, I bought another loadout which is they aren't that expensive. Oh, they get more expensive. 25 and 30. Shit. Okay. Oh, it actually goes up by 5. Yeah. Okay. So, my first weapon is the Vector, which I think is a fairly good gun. I mean, I'm I'm a little, I'm a little eh on the iron sights. It seems like it crawled up too much of the screen. But I think sooner or later I'm going to put a red dot sight on it and see how it is. I have a foregrip on it because foregrip actually does something in this game. I don't really want to get into all the mechanics about it, but if you haven't seen it yet, go to Drifters, uh, Drifters, um, YouTube, and he does, uh, what are they called again, In-Depths, I think they're called, and he explains the foregrip pretty well. But, um, yeah, the vector, pretty well, pretty good. I'm using M9, put that shit on there. Um, okay, whatever. Bunch of perks, you can erase stuff to get more perks. Same as, um... Black Ops, well, not, yeah, same as Black Ops, uh, essentially. So the first weapon's a vector, pretty good. Haven't really tried any other submachine guns. This one's good, but it, I know it has um, a lot more kick when you're shooting for a medium to long range. I've used the MTAR, pretty good. Haven't used the Vapor, and I have not used the K7, and I've used the CBJ. CBJ is kind of like the PM9 from MW3, if you remember that weapon. <coughs> My next class is... Uh, the SC, you actually start out with this weapon, it's very good, it has very, very low recoil, and it does quite a bit of damage, especially if you put on muzzle break, which increases the damage at long range, which is always great. The iron sights isn't terrible, but I'd rather just have a reflex. Now, assault rifles, hmm, I don't know, I mean, I think I used the SA, it was okay, I guess. I have the... Uh, I have the AK actually as a class. So I'll get to that. FAD I have not used, but I'm sure it's gonna be like MW3s or something like that. Remington, I think of a shotgun. <laughs> I don't know about you. Haven't used it. Um, I have this unlocked, but I wasn't really a fan of it. It's kind of like the Type 95 from MW3. Three on burst. Good damage if you get your shots and all that. Honey Badger, built-in suppressor, which is always great. It's actually a very what good weapon. I just don't have it unlocked yet because I keep using my squad points. This gun, I fucking looks like a transformer. I have not used it. It looks like it says a built-in. Wait, what? High rate of fire, reduced recoil for the first three rounds, and the laser sight for increased. All right, so that's pretty cool. I guess never really read that. Next one's uh, looks like a sniper, but it's not. It's a marksman rifle. <sighs> I'm not really a fan of these yet. Uh, I bought this one. I'm not really that big into it it's it, it has a lot of damage it's like a two shot kill but it's it, it has recoil um it has a built-in foregrip which reduces recoil and i still thought it had a lot of recoil so i don't know i think um this one or this one i think i'm gonna like the mk or the ia i think are gonna be one of the two good ones um oh, i probably should go over my perks um, I'll just go over perks in general. What I re what I assent what I usually use on every class is um, focus, which is basically like toughness. It reduces flinch and weapon sway when you aim it on sights. This is stalker, move faster while aiming, which is always good if you can get into that. Us I usually put on sleight of hand every once in a while. <clears throat> Not bad. Reload while sprinting. I don't even know why I have that on. Um, hmm. <laughs> let's do that one. This is kill enemies without revealing their death locations. It's, I don't know. I just rather than that. I don't think that's important. Weapon is ready after sprinting is always great. 
And I have take no fall damage. It's actually helped me out a lot to get some kills, additional attack, even though I don't even have attack. So we're gonna put on, I guess we're gonna put on that, no. Take the elite off and put on, all right, put on that sleight of hand. So I really wanna unlock this one. Consecutive kills increase the chance to deal more damage with bullet weapons. That's, that's OP as fuck. That's, that's, that's OP as shit, dude. And I really want to get that. Oh, yeah, they have danger close back. Once fucking people find out about that, noob tubes will be out. That's great. Use the same strike package. I noticed that you don't really have challenges, so I don't really use specialist that much. Because I only use specialist and MW3 because it was really good for XP. That's about it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, this is my, um, marksman rifle. I have a red dot sight on it. And then I have the AK-12. It's, um, I think it's pretty good. I have extended mags on it. Um, I just bought this. It has really low recoil, but basically a lot of the weapons have low recoil. Every weapon is pretty strong. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this game's been pretty fun, I guess, except for the spawns. Yeah. Typical Call of Duty spawn still, and like free for all and stuff. <clears throat> um, what else? Um, if anyone's a uh, little tip if anyone's wondering or is mad Or hasn't figured it out yet that when you're in a lobby you can't mute all except party Once you get into the game Once you get into the game you can press start and I think it's like mute players or something like that I'm not sure you'll see it once you press start you can go to it and you can mute all except for party and then It does it and then once you go back after that game's done and you say you stay in the same lobby I'm not even sure if you back out and go into a lobby it helps I I think it might but if you stay in the lobby everyone who joins the game like if people leave and then new people join they'll automatically be muted so so you don't really have to worry about that. that's pretty cool I guess pretty cool I think they should put it in a lot the pre lobby but whatever so yeah every guns basically pretty pretty good I mean every gun kills pretty quickly <laughs> and you die fucking fast but yeah there's nothing really else to explain. It's pretty fun. I haven't really played anything else. I think I'm going to play Infected, and I think we're going to record it, and we'll see how well it does. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video about my classes. Uh, there isn't that many guns, but, you know, whatever. It's a pretty fun game, and I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming, the upcoming gameplay. I'll see you in my next ghost video.